Hi guys and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Azure AD Connect. In the last video, we discussed what is password hash synchronization. We discussed why do we use password hash synchronization, how passwords are synchronized from on-premise to Azure Active Directory, and I have shown you how you can monitor and troubleshoot password hash synchronization using PowerShell commands and using PowerShell script. In this particular video, I will be discussing what is pass-through authentication. I will be discussing why do we need pass-through authentication and how pass-through authentication works. And then I will be showing you how we can implement pass-through authentication. Pass-through authentication allows users to sign in to on-premise and cloud-based applications using same password. When user tries to log into cloud-based application, the authentication is performed from on-premise instead of Azure Active Directory. With the help of password hash synchronization, we can sync passwords from on-premise to Azure Active Directory. And authentication is performed by Azure Active Directory. But in case of pass-through authentication, the passwords are not synchronized to Azure Active Directory. And the authentication is performed by on-premise domain controller. Pass-through authentication works only for synchronized user accounts. This feature cannot be used for cloud-only accounts. Let's assume that we have synchronized a user from local Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. And this user is trying to access Outlook web application in Office 365. So let's see how pass-through authentication will work and how this user will be authenticated. User will browse to outlook.office.com and will provide his username and password. As soon as user will click sign in, Azure Active Directory will encrypt the password using the public key of the authentication agent and will place the username and password in a queue. Then on-premise authentication agent will retrieve the username and encrypted password from the queue. On-premise agent will use its private key and will decrypt the encrypted password and will send the username and password to domain controller for validation. Domain controller will evaluate the request and will send a response to the agent. The response can be success, failed, password expired, or user logged out. So the authentication agent will send this response back to Azure Active Directory. Then Azure Active Directory will evaluate the response that is received from authentication agent and will respond to the user based on the response received by the authentication agent. If the sign-in is successful, user will get access to OWA. If domain controller couldn't verify the credentials, in that case, this user will not be able to log in. Pass-through authentication can be enabled in two ways. The first way is when you install Azure AD Connect. At that time, you can select custom installation type and you can enable pass-through authentication. The other way is if you have already installed Azure AD Connect, then you can modify the properties and then you can change the sign-in method. So as of now, I haven't installed Azure AD Connect, so I will be showing you how we can enable pass-through authentication when we will be installing Azure AD Connect. So here we will click on I agree, continue, and we will use custom settings. Click on install. On user sign-in screen, you will select pass-through authentication. By default, password hash synchronization will be selected. If you want to enable pass-through authentication, then you will select pass-through authentication and then click Next. Here you will be typing the credentials of your global admin account for Office 365 tenant. And then click Next. So rest of the settings are same. I have discussed all these options in a separate session where I have discussed how we can install Azure AD Connect. I have covered all these options, so I'm not going to discuss all these options now. 
So you can select the organization units that you want to synchronize to Office 365. Here you can configure group based filtering if you want to. And then you can finally select if you want to add any other feature as well and click next. And the Azure AD Connect wizard will install Azure AD Connect. I will resume this video once this installation is complete and then we will verify password authentication from Azure Active Directory. So Azure AD Connect configuration is completed. Now let's go to Azure Active Directory and let's verify the status of password authentication. Let's go to Azure AD Connect. Scroll it down. So here we can see pass through authentication is enabled and one authentication agent has been installed. So now if synchronized users will log in to any of the Azure Active Directory or Office 365 applications, the authentication will be performed by on-premise Active Directory instead of Azure Active Directory. In the next video, I will be discussing what is soft match and hard match. I will be discussing and showing you practically how to perform soft match and hard match. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.